For this video tutorial we're going to consider the medial aspect of the knee and in particular we're going to look at the medial tibial femoral joint line. Also we're going to consider the medial collateral ligament and the visible aspect of the medial meniscus. So we can start our examination here on the um, medial joint line and here we can then start to track more proximally. It's really important to track up to the uh, proximal insertion of the medial collateral ligament. We know that the vast majority of injuries are going to occur um, just proximal to the knee joint line. So important to interrogate all the way up to the proximal insertion and also to scan backwards and forwards. Again, we emphasize this need to make sure that we scan all the way through structures in all the different planes. I'm now following the medial collateral ligament down. Um, so we reach the joint line here and here we can see the very distinctive uh, visible portion of the medial meniscus and we have the uh, meniscal femoral and the meniscal tibial attachment um, that we can see here nicely. We've got the more superficial aspect of the medial collateral ligament distinct from the more um, deep portion is also nicely visible uh, when we're looking at in this position. Okay, we're now going to follow the medial collateral ligament down more distally. Be aware of the fact that there are two attachment portions or two attachment points for the medial collateral ligament. So firstly, we have on the outside of the medial aspect of the tibia here, and then we can also see uh, the medial collateral ligament shows up very nicely here um, and we can follow it down so it's in its distal attachment which is um, usually around six seven centimeters down to get a nice orientation on this uh, distal attachment we just have to rotate the probe slightly forwards um, just to get the optimal image of this uh, part of the medial collateral ligament so we're just going to again track that back up okay to the medial aspect of the knee joint and then again we can scan through the meniscus here bear in mind the fact and we emphasize this point that ultrasound is not the best modality for uh, visualizing internal derangements of the knee and suspicion of a meniscal tear should always be um, imaged with um, MR um, evaluation but sometimes you will see meniscal cysts. You may see evidence of extrusion of the medial meniscus. Um, so you can sometimes see pathology on the medial meniscus, but be aware of the fact that you cannot rule out pathology within the joint using ultrasound.